Hey there, this is Lyle's Avatar. You're about to see the best tutorial to create professional grade AI video ads for a few hundred dollars, like the viral video that follows. Action. Hi, I'm Lau, co-founder of Argyl. Today, we're introducing Fictions, our sexiest product so far. Cut! Our sexiest product so far. Cut! Anyways, check out this absolute cinema. Okay, so here's the play, Argyl Fictions, First out the gate, you drop in one photo, just one, and boom, you're generating anything. Don't tell dad, okay? And yeah, their voice, man, like the whole person, fully there, living, breathing, bleeding. It's it's friggin' biblical. Yeah, we could push that to the normies, dirt cheap, keep them occupied. Legacy move, bro. Look, kid, it's not cheap, but it's pure. And once you've had it, you'll come back. You'll need more, trust me. Get your first dose for free. No, by order of the king, the first two generations will be free. Well, if we can try it for free, we may as well do it now. Saddle up, lads. We are running out of time. You have to try it now. Now watch it all, watch it all. Wait, what's the ending already? And I watch it all, watch it all burn. <laughs> All right, so today I'll show you exactly how I did this ad. Step by step, I've used several tools. One of them is Ardual. Note that there's a discount code in the description. Um, I will not talk about the script writing. You can find that on a Notion page. It's, um, it's much easier to read it. But I will show you all the steps that led me to create images and videos. Um, all the tricks I've used, I'll give you the prompts as well. So we'll see how I created each shot. Um, some of them I did directly uh, generating the videos on Ardual. Some of them I had to create first frames uh, before. Um, I use Mid Journey for that, but I also use other tools to transform some images such as Runaway, um, uh, Mid Journey uh, upscaling and first frame, last frame features. Um, I also used um, Argyl to train my voice. And note that there's a very important aspect here is that um, I used Argyl to generate the videos because it's the only one that will give me a consistent character. And since this ad is just about me in different characters, um, I needed to have my consistent face, but also my consistent voice. And having these two is not something you can find uh, today on the different tools. So that's one of the things about uh, Argyl's models that allows that. So for some of the most cinematic frames of the ad, for example, me as a king, those that, that really require some uh, specific vibe, um, I needed to create that image first and then face swap my face onto them. This is not necessary for a lot of the frames. For example, when I'm walking in New York, um, I generated that directly in one shot with an input picture of mine. But for the most uh, cinematic ones, uh, for example, this one, the one of the king, I needed to create a prompt. So I first went to ChatGPT and asked him very simply, um, create a mid journey prompt um, for a close up of a king looking regal on his throat. Cinematic. So ChatGPT gave me a prompt. I'll just take it, copy it, and I'll paste it. So after a few iterations and, and prompt cleaning, I finally have a shot that I really like. It's this one, and I'll, I'll use that for the video in the next steps. So before I do the face swap, um, I want to create my transition shots. So in the script, I put, I put some uh, shots that were transition. So it's basically just changing the angle from a frame to do like a nice, uh, a nice cut. Um, so I want a shot of um, that king in that setting, but just dropping the glass on the table. So what I'll do is I went to Runway, um, their image model. And so I'll pick um, that frame I just generated. And then I'll just paste a prompt that I have right here. This scene from a king feasting with close-up shot from his hand holding a glass above the table. So after a few tests, I have this shot that I really like and I'll animate it later um, in, in the video part. For some of the other shots, I use Mid Journey directly uh, to prompt them. Um, in this case, since um, all the details were in the first prompt, I had generated this first image in Mid Journey. Um, and I just basically reused the exact same prompt and um, and gave him like another angle. So American Suburb shot, shot from sideways right before getting on his bike. And this will be used as a transition. So you can do some shots uh, with like changing a frame with runway. And some of them, you can do them directly by prompting and reusing the first prompt. So now basically I have um, all of the first shots I need um, to create the video. 
The main thing is that I need to put my face on the shots. So I created an account on fall.ai, bought a few credits, and here I'm gonna navigate to ideogram character, edit. So this UI will ask you for three pictures. Um, the first is gonna be a picture of the, um, uh, that you want your face to be on. So that will be the original picture I, uh, I downloaded from Midjourney. The second will be a mask I'll show you how to do right now. And the third one will be a picture of you where I can see you properly. So here I've inputted the picture of the king here as a reference, and then I'll create the mask. Basically the mask is used to tell where is the face in the picture. So I'll just click create and I'll use the brush um, to outline the face. In some cases you will want to do uh, the hair as well, but I kind of like the way the hair of the king is. Um, so I'll just leave that there. I just want my face with this exact hair. If I wanted my hair there, I would have uh, brushed the face, the, the hair as well. So I'll use mask. And the last thing I'll do is just upload a picture of me. And then I'll just type a very simple prompt saying, a regal king um, looking sideways. And there you go, I have my face on the picture uh, with a really good accuracy even in the shadows. And so I'll use that later to animate it. Now what I want to do is upscale these pictures and have the, the best uh, skin tone, skin grain I can have to avoid having this AI kind of vibe. So here I'll use a, um, a website called Enhancer, which is specialized in, in skin tones um, and skin grain. And so I'll just upload the image. So I've uploaded my image, I'll just go to detailed, check that and click enhance. All right, so now I have my upscaled face with a super realistic skin. The last thing I'll do is the traveling opening shot. Uh, opening shots are super important to be cinematic. Um, so here I've created this image on mid journey, uh, put my face on it with the trick I just showed you. Um, and I've upscaled it to have a super uh, high resolution. And so what I've did with this is I put it into um, uh, any image editor and I've uh, cropped it on different parts um, in a 16 to nine ratio. So the output of this are these two frames. Um, I did the bottom left extremity and my face at the ending. So here what I did is uploading two frames. The starting frame is the, the place where I wanted to start. And then uh, of course the ending frame. Um, and I'll type a very simple prompt, uh, traveling from the legs to the face of a model and click generate. And after a few tries, I finally got a really cool traveling to start the video. Okay, so now I have a bunch of frames and I have um, the opening shot. I now need to generate all the videos. But first what I'll do is generate my uh, voice. Um, because what's cool with Ardual is you can actually train your own voice and make it consistent. So I'll go to um, the tab voices here and then I'll just create voice. Um, and here, all you need to do is upload 30 seconds to one minute um, of your uh, voice. Just record that in any uh, audio tool and then click train. And you'll have your voice available on the platform that you can apply to any shot of you as a character. So it's finally time to generate all the shots from the video. There are three types of shot that I will generate. Some of them will be um, directly from prompting to um, the final result. So this is the case of, um, for example, me in New York City. We haven't generated any video because I know the model will generate something nice. Uh, some shots will use the exact setting of the mid-journey videos that I face swapped myself on. And for some image, I just don't even need an input image. I'll just basically prompt. For example, that's the case of the car passing by or the shot of the helicopter on New York City. So first I'll start doing the simple shots um, of myself. So I'll click to upload your photo and then face only. Here I've selected my LinkedIn profile pic. So it doesn't need to be cinematic. It just needs to be a picture where we can see you super well. So here, one of the most important steps is gonna be to select my voice because I need a consistent voice in every frame of that video. So I'll click on voice here. And then here you'll find the voice that you just trained. So I'll pick um, my best voice, which is Laudis Pro. And then I have set it now. So here in the prompt, I'll type both the actions, what I should look like, but also the speech that I want to say. So here it's basically the, the first shot where you see me on the phone, um, impersonating uh, Kendall Roy and saying a close up shot of a man walking through New York City, rainy on the phone, wearing, wearing sunglasses and a baseball cap. And then after I just say saying. Here, some tips is really try to be intentional in the prompt that you put. So you can say saying in like um, an assertive voice or like pitching like on a sales call or saying uh, while laughing. All of these will help um, create a really nice video like you want it. And finally, I get a video that I can put straight into the video. Okay, okay so here's the play, Argyle Fictions. First, I
Now, the second type of shot that you want is those where you already have all the environment, um, uh, for example, the king shot, and you just want the speech and the animation of the character. So here I'll just click to upload your photo, but this time I'll choose face and environment. The goal here is that it will keep everything, um, including my face, and it will basically just make me speak and move as I want. So here I uploaded a picture of the king, and then the, the prompt is a regal king sing with authority. No, by order of the king, the first two generations will be free. Uh, and then I'll click generate. And so here I have the shot of me as a king saying that line. No, by order of the king, the first... I will also use um, the part where you say face and environment, where I want to keep consistency even when my face is not visible, but this is basically the first frame feature. So uh, this is also where I input it, the image, for example, of me getting on a bike, where I just said this kid going on a bike and starting to ride. Um, and for the final shots I need to do, I will select none because there's no avatar, no person to animate. And I'll just type um, a car driving through um, New York City, rainy, um, pan from right to left. And that will give me the final shots that I need to put everything together. So basically now I have generated all the shots that I needed with my face and my voice. Um, I'll just put all of that into um, any editing software, for example, CapCut or Adobe Premiere. And then I actually get like my final professional type video. I also generated some of the sounds with 11 Labs. So I used the music feature for the music and I also use uh, the sound effects feature for specific sound effects. And I basically blended all of that together to have uh, the final shot. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment. Remember that you have a discount code uh, for Audrel that's also in the description. Um, and stay tuned and subscribe if you want more tutorials like these.